Hi, on the woodpecker today? <laughs> yes, I finished the dresser. I ended my last video with most of the case of the dresser done. But it's not finished yet. I need drawers and this will take a lot of time to make. The first thing to do is to get all the wood I will need for the drawers. For the sides and backs, I bought six water lumber. I begin by cutting smaller pieces that I surface on both sides. Here it is, all the wood is surfaced, but this is way too thick for making drawers, so I need to cut all of this in half. I begin with the table saw. I rip this in several passes, because it would be way too hard with only one. but some planks were too wide. There is still some wood left in the center. I finish this on the bandsaw. By doing this like that, I'm more confident that the cut will be straighter than if I had cut it only with the bandsaw. But uh, when the planks were ripped, the wood released its tension and now it's all wonky like that. I cut them again, just a bit longer than what I need. And make them straight again. After making sure both edges are at 90 degrees of the straight face, I glue all of them in panels. Eventually, I have a nice pile of boards, wide enough for drawers, sides, and five wide panels. The next morning, the glue of the panels is dry, but this is far from being the right thickness. The first thing to do is to remove all the hard glue drips. And after measuring the height of the drawers, I use this measurement to rip all my panels. Okay, I now have all the wood for the sides and backs of all the drawers. Uh, but this is not the right thickness. I need to fix this. Now that my wood is the right thickness, I need to take care of the front of the drawers. And for this, I kept all my water planks. The first thing to do is to mark where I need to cut them for nine drawers and roughly cut them. Then I surface all of them. As usual, my thickness planer leaves nasty marks on the wood. I need to spend the rest of the day sending that. Uh, this is not fast, but at least now the wood looks nice. The next morning, I place all the drawers fronts like they should be and identify them. Now I can rip them to their exact height. Uh, but for this plank, I need to cut both sides to remove this. The others are a lot easier because there's no bark.
but it's still a lot of wood to rip. This is a little taste of what it should look like, but I need to add a vertical separator. For this, I'm going to use the cutoffs of the front. I just need to rip them to the size I need. After cutting one side straight, I bring it to the case, mark what I need to cut, and cut it. <laughs> one done. One more to go. Now I can glue them in place. After adding clamps, I can finish the front. First, I cut one side straight. Then I cut all of them to the right length. There you go, three done. Six more to go. At the end, I have nine drawer fronts ready. As you can see, I kept all the wood grain flow from one drawer to the other. This looks super nice. But now it's time to get the dovetail jig out so I can assemble some drawers. I begin by cutting the half blind pins on all the fronts. This took a while, but not as much as if I were doing them by hand. But I'm far from being done. I still need to take care of all the sides. The first thing I do is to make sure all the wood is the same height. When it does, I cut one end straight on all 18 pieces. Now I can cut the front dovetails on all of them. When the first one is cut, I check the fit. Uh, but I'm far from being done. I still have 17 more to do. Now I need to cut the back dovetails. After putting one drawer in place, I can find the length I need to cut each side. But I will cut them shorter. I really don't want them to bottom out when the sides will shrink. Now it's time to cut the 18 sides to length. And cut all their dovetails. It's going super well, but I still have all the backs to do. First thing to do is cut all of them to the right height. Then cut one side straight. And cut them to length. After flipping the pattern, it's time to cut some pins. The first one is done. I still have a lot to cut. Now that all the pieces are dovetailed, it's time to think about their bottoms. Now that this is done, I still have a lot of grooves to make. After cutting the first one, I make a dry fit just to see. 
since this is perfect, I sand this bottom right away. Next, I set it down on my CNC so I can burn a pictogram of the position of this drawer. This way, it would be easy to find where each drawer should go to keep the wood grain flow. While the CNC is burning the drawer's position, I sand more bottoms. When I'm done, I cut the groove of the next one. I'm almost ready to glue one drawer, but I need to make the final interior sanding first. Then I can glue it. As you can see, I'm not kidding with clamps. Better safe than sorry. Then it's time to go back to the table saw and cut more grooves. As a matter of fact, I do each drawer one by one. This way, the glue has time to set a bit while I glue the next one and this allows me to manage the amount of clamps so I have enough of them to glue all those drawers. After a little while, I have all the drawers. But it's only then that I realize that I goofed up. I misplaced two bottoms. I need to fix this the best I can. But since this is laser burn, it's quite deep. So I need to use a chisel to remove the crosses. Next, I had to be creative to hold the drawers. So I could burn the new crosses. Okay, if someone looks under the drawer, my mistake will be discovered. At least I made sure nobody can put those drawers at the wrong place. But they're not finished yet. All the exterior needs to be sanded. When one drawer is sanded, I can put it in place and jump to the next one. But it's just after the third one that I realized that I should start burning the date on the side of each one. And while my logo and date are being burned, I can keep on sending. Eventually, all the drawers are done. The missing one is getting dated. Uh, but I'm not totally done. Because of this space, the drawer sometimes gets stuck. I need to fix this. So I sand a nice chamfer on all the back edges of all the drawers. And with a chamfer like that, there's no chance a drawer can get stuck again. But I'm not done yet. The bottom two rows of the drawers stay straight when they're open, but not the top one. This is because there's an open space on top of those drawers. I need to add filler strips to solve that. But before screwing them in place, I need to drill some holes and I need to take into consideration wood movement. So at the back, just like for the frames, I drill two holes and cut in between them with the router. Then I chamfer this with a V-bit. The other chamfers were much easier to make because I just used a chamfering bit. Now I need to screw this in place. Finally, the drawers are done, but not the dresser. I need to surface more wood for the legs.
Now that the wood is smooth, I need to cut this in three and glue them together. Finally, I just need to wait for the glue to dry. The next morning, I make sure there's no big hard glue drips that can damage my jointer knives. When I'm satisfied, I joint one side straight. Then I cut the other side. With four nice faces, I can cut two square blocks. Before going any further, I remove the burn marks and cut six identical pieces. After finding the center and pounding the center drive, I put this on my lathe and make some cuts where there will be a transition between the square part and the round part. When it's done, it's time to turn this. It's not too difficult and not too long. It's true, it's not a very complex form. In one hour, I managed to make six legs, but on the ones that I didn't make a sock at, I had some big blowouts. But I only need four, so I'm okay. Now is the ideal time to make the final sanding on the straight parts. But those legs have a small angle. So I move my miter at 9 degrees and cut one end of each leg. For the other cut, <laughs> I had to improvise something to hold the legs in place. I finish the cut by end. And make sure the top is straight. When it's done, I find the center of each leg and drill a pilot hole on the first leg for the screw. But I also need to drill a hole on the bottom frame. And this is done in several steps. First, a small pilot hole. Then a shallow hole for the screw's head. And finally, a bigger hole to the size of the screw. When it's done, I can screw the leg. I repeat these operations for all the remaining legs. Now that this dresser has legs, it's time to use them. <laughs> I'm so lucky René is there. Now I have to begin to work on the back. The first thing to do is to make the corners of the rabbit square. Then cut the backing. But between the two pieces, I want a wavy joint. I use my CNC to cut it. This is what the back will look like. But I need to make sure the top is straight. Then I can screw the first sheet with only a couple of screws. Just enough to make it stay in place. 
I put the small section in place and find its length. But I need to subtract this thickness and cut it. Here it is, a back. But it's a bit too tall. I need to cut this. The last thing to do is to drill all the pilot holes. Now I need to do the final sanding. <laughs> it's quite obvious that the drawer's front needs a little bit of love. Okay, the sanding is done, but I need to do something to cut all those sharp edges. Uh, it's not that obvious, but there are lots of them. I also turned the dresser around to sand the bottom of the legs. And while this was like that, I took the opportunity to reinforce the bottom frame. And it's on this day that Jean-Francois came and brought four drawers to his house to paint them. When he comes back with them, I can drill the holes for the pools. While I'm drilling those holes, he's talking about the cycling trip he did in the United States. When I'm done with those holes, I still need to do a little bit of sanding. Yes, I need to erase all the pencil marks I just did. And since Jean-Francois wants to apply oil himself, well, my job is done. Here's the final result. I must admit, it's not that bad. This has a modern look with nice dovetailed drawers. Uh, but for myself, I wouldn't have painted the drawers. But it's not my dresser. What do you think? And before anyone asks, it took me 90 hours, spread over 26 days, to finish this dresser. And I hope to see you soon for another episode of The Woodpecker.